Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regent, Common Core, Basic Graphs of Trigonometric Functions, Domain of the Sine of X. To order this complete CRAM session, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com. If this isn't the topic you're looking for, no worries. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com for pricing and ordering instructions on personalized packages. Be sure to spread the word to your friends and classmates who also need to cram. Let's delve into the concept of the domain of the sine of x. Basic graphs of trigonometric functions. Domain of sine of x. What is the domain of the function y equals the sine of x? I'll give you a moment to think and jot down your answer. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, before we actually take a look at the domain, I want you to recall what the sine of x is. Here we have a Cartesian coordinate plane, and we're in quadrant one, and this is our um, theta, okay? Our angle of interest. The reason why we're not saying x here is because x is indicated as the x-coordinate. So the sine of theta, or the sine of any angle, is going to be the y-coordinate over the measurement of the longest leg of the triangle form, which is the hypotenuse, r. r is always going to be positive since it's um, a measurement, regardless of what quadrant you're in. Uh, x and y can be negative depending on what quadrant you're in. The y-coordinate here is positive, but a y-coordinate here would be negative. The x-coordinate here is positive, but one in quadrant two and three would be negative, okay? That's just an aside. So basically, the domain of y equals um, the sine of x is going to be what? You tell me. Let me give you some hints to lead you to the answer, just in case you don't know. I want you to recall the domain of the function is a set of all possible values for the independent variable or the input variable, which is usually x along the horizontal axis of the coordinate plane, okay? And the answer is all real numbers. And just in case you forgot, real numbers um, represents any value along the number line, whether zero, negative, positive. Real numbers includes rational numbers, such as integers like negative five, zero, one, fractions like pi over two, four thirds, and even irrational numbers that can't be expressed as a fraction um, or decimal without repeating, such as the square root of two. So it's all the numbers you'll encounter on the number line, okay? So essentially almost any number, except for imaginary numbers, okay? That's um, numbers that include the square root of negative one. That's not a real number. All right.